The Rambling Adventure of Hare. It's a beautiful day in Harefield. The sun is shining brightly. Hare and his friend Hedgehog are running through the grass. As they giggle and play, the blades of grass tickle their tummies. Suddenly, Hare stops and lets out a sigh. He always plays in the same green meadow with the same tickling blades of grass. What's wrong, Hare? Hedgehog asks, concerned. I'd love to play somewhere else, Hare says. Somewhere I've never been before. Hedgehog's eyes light up with excitement as she thinks for a moment. I have a brilliant idea. Let's go to the forest. Hare stands still and thinks. Mom and Dad warned him about the forest. He's only allowed to go as far as the big old oak tree if they're not around. Suddenly, Hare hears a strange sound. <sighs> hey, where's that sound coming from? He looks around. <sighs> Hare scratches his ear. How bizarre! Hey, Hedgehog, do you hear that odd sound too? Hare says. Hedgehog perks up her ears and listens carefully. What sound? I don't hear anything. Hare shakes his head. Maybe he imagined it. They reach the edge of the forest. Are you coming? Hedgehog shouts. I don't know, Hare stammers. Mom and Dad said I shouldn't go into the forest without them. Don't be such a scary cat, Hedgehog says. I have prickly spines. Nothing can happen to us. Hare's curious. He's heard so many stories about the forest. And besides, it's not like he's alone. Together, it's certainly safer. <sighs> What's that sound? Hare wonders while he quickly follows Hedgehog into the forest. Hare and Hedgehog wander deeper into the forest. They walk along streams and forest paths, past green trees and red flowers, forgetting where they are for a moment. Suddenly, they hear a rustling from the bushes nearby. They freeze, startled by what might be lurking inside. Could this be where the strange sound is coming from? Hare thinks. A red fluffy tail pops out from the bushes. Hello, who's there? Hedgehog asks. I'm here, the animal replies. Two fluffy red ears peek out of the bushes. Those aren't hair ears at all, Hare shouts. Yes, they are, the animal says. Come closer and you'll see. Hare senses something is off. The fluffy red tail and ears can only mean one thing. A fox. <sighs> the sound is now even louder than before. We have to get out of here, Hedgehog. Otherwise, we'll be a tasty meal. Their hearts beat fast as they dash through the forest. The friends reach an open space in the forest. Where are we? Hare feels worried. I'm not sure, Hedgehog replies, scratching her head. But I know we're far from Harefield. <sighs> Hare jumps up. Did you hear that? But Hedgehog still can hear a thing. There, Hedgehog shouts. The big old oak tree. The oak tree towers above the forest. If we walk towards the oak tree, we will surely get back to Harefield. Hare and Hedgehog walk and walk. I don't think we're getting any closer to home, Hare sighs. Suddenly, the ground starts to shake. Large footsteps are getting closer. Bears! Hare and Hedgehog shout. They quickly hide behind the bush. A family of bears walks past the bush. A bear cub is sitting on its mom's back. Hey, 
Look, there is a little bear too, the friends whisper. Maybe the bears aren't so scared after all. Should we ask them for help? Otherwise, we'll never get home. Heads of Wimbers. <sighs> the sound is now louder than ever. Come on, Hare says. Let's go. Uh, hello, Hare says shyly to the bear family. We are lost. Could you perhaps show us the way to Harefield? Of course, one of the bears says. Do you see those beautiful red flowers over there? Keep following them until you reach the big pond. When you get to the big pond, turn left. A little further on, you'll see the big old oak tree. When you see the oak tree, you're almost there. The friends thank the bear family and continue their journey. They walk along the path with beautiful red flowers, each flower even more beautiful than the last. Look, the hedgehog shouts, the big pond, just like the bears had told them. The friends hurry over to it. In the distance, they see the top of the big old oak tree. Almost there, hearing hedgehog cheer. A little later, they are standing in front of the big old oak tree. Owl is perched high up on a branch. He's very old, at least a hundred years. Hello, Owl! Hare and Hedgehog shout happily. Owl asks them what they were doing in the forest. Hare tells him about their adventures and the odd sound. Do you know what that strange sound is? Hare asks Owl. I do, Owl says. Listen carefully and you'll hear it. Hare listens closely. <sighs> then he hears his own tummy rumbling. <sighs> that sound is coming from me, Hare says in surprise. He touches his tummy. That's right, Owl says. That's your gut feeling, a kind of inner voice. Your gut feeling tells you when something feels right or wrong. If you learn to trust it, your gut feeling can help you make a decision. Hare nods. He thinks about all the adventures in the forest. His gut feeling has also tried to help him today. From now on, I'll always listen to that rumbling tummy of mine, Hare thinks. Hare and Hedgehog are sitting on a green hill near the big old oak tree. It's quiet as they watch the sunset over Harefield. Suddenly, Hedgehog's tummy growls loudly. Is that my gut feeling? Hedgehog asks. Hare chuckles. No, because I hear it too. I think you're just hungry. You haven't eaten anything all day. And so, the adventure of Hare and Hedgehog ends with a rumbling tummy and the knowledge that they can trust their gut feeling during their next adventure. <laughs>